to this area with 51. Everything in the butterfly. When you go rapping like that. Skip the intro, let's get straight to the info, man. Follow me on the gram, Vada underscore fly, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, new era, smack era, new era versus smack era. I know a lot of y'all, Some like a lot of folks don't really do Twitter, some people ain't on IG, but they still be wanting to be in the know of what's going on in the battle rap as far as with uh, all of the developments, people talking, battle, shit like that. So, um, what we do is we want to have, I want to have a conversation with the congregation of all denominations. Um, so Tay Rock, this is me addressing Tay Rock. So he asked earlier, right? He says, question y'all, in my smack era, I see niggas talking crazy. Can y'all help me figure out who niggas is talking to? Well, okay. I'm going to help you figure out who niggas is talking to. New era, talking heavy about the old era, get these niggas out the way, you know, there's a lot of the, you know, the regular rhetoric, the shit that we go through. I, I explained this in the joint yesterday with Charlie Clips and Chess, right? You have MCs who figure, who feel like, and I agree with them in some perspectives that a lot of the old cats that are getting the biggest bags are in the way. You got cats like Easy to Block Captain and Chess have the best performance on Summer Madness, on a card that was stacked with veterans. That's not always a good thing. It's really not. It's not a good thing when you have guys who came after you having better performances. Now, a lot of the old era guys, the old era guys paved the way, the smack era, they paved the way. They, here's, here's how you can distinguish, you know, and I got a bunch of names and I'll put them in smack era, new era, things like that. But here's how you can determine what era you are in. Chances are, if you battled when Smack had a did not have a beard, you're Smack era. Too much presence, but still ain't got a gift rapping. I mean, your swag is another skinny leg jean nigga. <laughs> yeah. All the bags, look away from the bloods, smile at the fags. So why the fuck should I think you got the Glock on? Little dirty nigga probably don't even got socks on. Ski mask in the fall, kick the door, night fuck! Like the feds came in. <laughs> like if and throwing away a stack. Not for no aggression or no skill. You were no namer. They just referred to you as that last nigga that went up against ill. You see, this is a fake. Chances are, if you battled, when the, when the battles were split by one round, you could find round one on the YouTube, you could find round two on YouTube, you could find round three, you're a smack arrow. Chances are, if you battled outside, or if you battled in anything other than a stage, or anything like that, you are old Smack Era MCs. Not old, but Smack Era. Chances are, if you, if you battled on the Lions Den, Fight Club, any of those leagues that we really grind time, all Smack Era. Like, that, that's the guys from like, 2003 to like 2013, 14-ish. Um, guys like Chess would be considered new era. Um, I, I, and, I, and I'll get into some more things, so I, I wanna address what Tay Rock was talking about, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, doo -doo 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 -doo. MCs alike. Um, Murder Moo, Loaded Lux, Conceited, Hitman Holla, Guts, Charlie Clips, Tay Rock, Hollow, Verb, Reed, Arsenal, Calico, Rex, DNA, Shine, John John the Don, Math, Hoffa, Iron Solomon, Shotgun, Shug, Head Ice, Chilla Jones, JC, Jazz, Miss Hustle, Cortez, Bill Collector, Big T, Young L, Swave Seva, B Magic, O Red, X Factor, and those kind of MCs would all be considered Smack Era. I know there are some of these guys who have continued to transition over and battle in the newer days, but they're smack era MCs. They were the guys that were around before any of uh, Chan. Another thing, if you were battling before bloggers, 
It was really when there were no real bloggers around. Chances are you are a Smack Era MC. And there's nothing wrong with being Smack Era MCs. I think some killers, people who still kill at a high level to this day, are Smack Era MCs. Now let me tell you guys some new era MCs. New age, you know what I'm saying? The new, the new current Smack, I mean the um, new era. MCs like Ichigati, T-Top, Avram, Nitty, Twerk, Easy to Block Captain, B-Dot, Mike P, Lou Castro, Kid Chaos, Jada Nightwing, Real Sick, Low Soul, The Coffee Brown, Swamps, Jack Boy Mains, Fonz, Ace Amin, First Lady Flames, Jerry West, Nun Nun, Tink the Demon, Holmesy the God, Ryder, Don Marinos, The Your Honors, The Gluezies, The B-Dots of the World, The Dots of the World, would all be considered, and there's a lot more, you know what I'm saying? I'm not naming every MC that battle raps. I'd be here for fucking two days. But those will be considered your new era MCs. Now, I must say this. A lot of the new era MCs are very accomplished. They have done a lot. They have accomplished a lot. Some of them have taken their spot in battle rap serious and have applied pressure to older school MCs. Oh, and I, I did say Hat Ice. One of my favorite is... um a smack era MC. Geechee Gotti's the leader of the new school. Any way the cake gets cut. Guys like Geechee Gotti, T-Top, Rum Nitty, Av, you know, those guys are like the cream of the crop. Some of them have came and shown older MCs how it goes. And what I will say, I think it was Av, um, he, he wrote who, I think, don't quote me because I ain't said shit, um, which guys from the Smack era are actually still good. Well, there are a lot of them. Uh, Lux is still pretty performing at a pretty high level. Surf is too. Hitman is too. Goods. Charlie Clips when he wants to. Tay Rock. Hollow to Don. Averb. Reed Dollars. Calico. DNA. I know um, K Shine has took a little dip, but he's still a killer. John John. Iron Solomon. Uh, freaking Head Ice, Chilla Jones, like JC. JC will run through a lot. He's battled damn near every new era MC as it is. And he's battled a lot of the old era MCs too. So, I look at it like this. The old Smack era guys paved the way for everything that goes on now. Whether it be media, whether it be the platforms, whether it be everything. They paved the way. Like a lot of us are fans because of their battles and a lot of their battles stand the test of times. When you think of some of the best battles that ever happened, a lot of them are from the Smack era. Um, Aver versus Hitman, uh, freaking, uh, I liked uh, Sue Surf versus K Shine, I liked uh, Loaded Lux versus damn Murder Mook, Murder Mook versus Sirius Jones. Um, I could just keep going on and on and on. Those are the battles that built a lot of the success that dominates. Like, that was the era when Charlie Clips was one of the most lethal. Like, when Charlie Clips was battling in that era, the biggity bom bom boom the December 14th, what the fuck happened to Surf Day? Like, Charlie Clips versus Tay Rock in the hallway, then Charlie Clips versus Tay Rock Part 2. Um, another thing is, chances are, if your battles had times down in the corner, and Cortez is a smack era battle rapper too, uh, your battles had times down in the corner, you know, chances are. If you were battled when Exclusive Vodka was around, that's a good, that's a, if you battled when Exclusive Vodka was a sponsor, chances are you are a smack era battle rapper. Is, I, I want to tweet that when, uh, while I'm talking. Um, but a lot of the um, MCs that are in the new era feel like they could take out the guys that have been around for a while. Um, what I will say is this. These guys be having battle rap lifespans like Rex said a while ago. Um, they are very hard to delete because when you think of an MC, you think of all of their nostalgia and all of their everything that came with them you know what I'm saying like a lot of these guys they have a lot of history and the history be hard to delete you can't even if a guy like Big T who was another smack era rapper if Big T loses a battle you know Big T loses but so what it doesn't they don't really erase everything that you've had going on you know what I'm saying um I will say this uh the new era guys 
um, have a better push. Um, hold on, I'm writing this right now. Exclusive. <laughs> if you had, if you battle with exclusive vodka, was a sponsor. Chances are you're a smack era battle rap. Um, so you know these guys, they paved the way, and they don't like. I, like I seen Verb the other day, right? Um, he was he was talking heavy, saying that a lot of these new cats. They just got off the porch and they feel like, and they feel like um, they could talk crazy to the vets. Well, I'm gonna tell you what's happening. Easy the black captain, he has reason to talk the reason why he's talking because he's having good battle and he's not losing. Y'all gotta beat these niggas. Like they be, like a lot of the vets be coming up. He battled Rex and he beat him. He beat him, clearly too. And there's a lot of other people that, that he beat, you know what I'm saying? Danny Myers to Danny Myers is a smack era battle rapper too. Um who else? This I mean I could literally uh think about this all day. You know what I'm saying? Like it it literally it goes on and on and on. And I think the fans, there as a fan, you know what I'm saying, there's a there's a there's a lot of things that you can um that you can re appreciate and respect about both eras, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think um, you got legends, legend legends, you know what I'm saying? Like, those are the guys who, their their history, like the Loaded Lux, you, you, you like, I, I think the thing about Loaded Lux, he's gonna have to battle somebody from a new era. Like, he's gotta battle somebody from the new era because until you do that, like I've seen a lot of people talk about this. Until you do that, you're just you're you're, you're keeping your memory alive by battling a lot of the old folks, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. A lot of people take what we call legacy battles, but at the same time, you got to do that shit versus somebody new. There's rumblings and there's whispers about him versus Agichi Gotti. I don't know how true that is versus how it ain't true, but I think that that's something that that would be a, a definite. Proving point, <laughs> that would be one right there. Even if it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's true or not, but I will say this. Um, that would be a starting point. And this is nothing different than rookies versus vets. You know what I'm saying? We've seen a lot of these guys. But the new era got a lot. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I was In order to keep it a buck, I got to be honest. When I seen this new class of people come in, I was kind of skeptical, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I don't know how many of these guys have staying power. Staying power is I'm going to see you two years from now. I'm going to see you a year from now. You know what I'm saying? I, I was like, uh, you know. But, huh, these niggas have showed and proved. They have shown and proved. Jaden Nightwing, real sick. Easy to block, Captain. Uh, a lot of these guys have shown the Luke Castro, Fonz. Now, Fonz, you got to talk to Fonz. You won a tournament. You got the bread. You battling you battling against Luke Castro this weekend. You kind of got to win, my nigga. It's time for you to really pick it up and take it into another gear. Like, you have to take this into another gear because I think the, I, I said they've been playing with your plates. They've been playing with your food for a little minute, and I think that you should feel almost angry. I say you should take the same approach that Jerry West, who was another New Era MC, took when he battled against Louisi and he went crazy. You see how many battles Jerry West got after that? When Jerry West went crazy in front of Smack and all of them versus Louisi, that nigga got like everybody after that. That nigga got Rum Nitty. I think he got John. That nigga had everybody you have to put your foot with somebody. Do, do, do boom. Yeah, like that. You're going to have to go crazy because, um, you you not getting you not getting them looks like that, and I don't know why you're not getting them looks like that. But I think that uh, it's time. <laughs> it's time. Uh, so to answer Rock's question, uh, you my friend are smack era. You definitely are. Like no questions asked. Like you battle shotgun shook outside, my nigga. They spelt your name wrong in the trailer. Niggas didn't even have no trade, they didn't have no graphics or nothing back then. It was nasty, it was outside. Niggas didn't even have a venue. If you battled outside, you're a smack era battle rapper. If you battled with smack, didn't have a beard, you're a smack era battle rapper. Yeah. Uh-huh. If you battled on uh, 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 before 
before Ultimate Freestyle Friday. Like all them niggas that battled before UFF, you smack era. It's like the breaking point. UFF, like that UFF era is like that and on. Like when Saga and fucking Briz and, and all of them niggas and Chess and them niggas came through with that class, it's all new era. A lot of them are still performing at a very high level though. So I see why. Cause they look at it like this. If they can get all these old niggas out the way, the money's still gonna be there. But the money gonna be there for the new era. And that summer man that summer madness performance, y'all yeah, better. <laughs> niggas gotta clean your house, man. Niggas have got to clean your house. And it starts at the top. It starts at the top with the best battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? Like it starts with the top names. And they have got to protect their legacy. Not only legacy, protect their era. You know what I'm saying? It's more like protecting your era, protecting your stance. Um, like I said, Shotgun Suge also mentioned that he's ready to come back. You know what I'm saying? Like Shotgun Suge, while many people can say whatever they want in correspondence to him or his career or things like that, uh, he, he, he definitely is one of them ones, especially on them big stages. Uh, they're asking him who should he battle next. Real name Suge. He put real name Suge. Uh, Fonzie or Old Ice. I think the votes is uh, the most for Fonz right now. Uh, but, you know, thank y'all for tapping in. Uh, but the new era is a lot of the guys that I mentioned at the beginning of this. The Smack era, I've mentioned them well too. Uh, Tay Rock does have New Jersey Twerk coming up. That's a new era versus Smack era battle right there. You got Twerk. Who's a new era guy? Rock, smack era guy, and they're almost at like the forefronts of their eras. Like Tay Rock is one of the biggest names of his era. He's one of the biggest names. Uh, him not being on Summer Madness was a surprise. New Jersey Twerk, good, bad, or indifferent, is one of the names of his era. His electricity, what he's able to do. The, the sometimes I drive by to big level moments, big stage bars, big stage moments. Uh, but yeah, that's the difference. I'm sure it's a lot more that can be said, but uh, the new era guys are like, yo, if this is the le measuring, if this is where we're measuring that, Ace I mean, new level guy. If this is where we at with it, then we can catch these guys. Not only can we catch them, we can battle them and we can beat them. Uh-huh, did you solidify your spot with Gorillaz? Cause I don't rock with you niggas. Said I was like a pops to you niggas. When Iron Solomon battled against Matt Hoffa, it's a smack era. Just saying. If you were on a DVD, any DVD, I don't care what DVD, if you was in a DVD era, there is a chance, a very good chance, that you're a smack era battle rapper. If you battled when Exclusive Vodka was the sponsor, you know what it is. Gang gang! Hey, Ray, turn me out. Oh my god, I'm totally like a big fan exclusive. Scary was hot, back to back, but I was scary with that Glock. And we ain't shooting up no houses, nigga. Best man get the drop. I ain't beefing by no thought, they on my cop because I'm hot. For a 